Work over Martinez. Oh, look at the way he sunk that left hook. Three times, counted yes. once yes. in the second round. And Miguel Cotto. And the power he gets into the shot, that comes from perfect balance. Ready to throw a second shot, but he knew there was no need for the second shot. Benitez was a fabulous boxer. And this looks like the end of the fight right here. Cotto just continuing to go back to the well, doing what he had done throughout the fight, hitting Bronco hard on the shoulder with the left hook, and Bronco, who may have been looking for an out. Pinto slightly wobbled. There he goes. Second knockdown of the fight. Trade with him, Cotto, as Emmanuel pointed out, the stronger fighter, and this barrage of right hands may wind up ending the fight. Cotto came out sensing that Pinto was dazed at the start of the round. A series of right hands here. Left of the body. Straight punches through the guard. And one last left hook to the body to rip Pinto down. Tape example. They always had the neurological exams before anyone else. I'm gonna get up, but I can't. <laughs> well, this underlines the point I was making mm. to you earlier this evening before left we started hook, the by show. The way. Yep. I said to you. Nice left hand, short left hand, maybe just sneak through the guard. Rodriguez took a hard punch there right at the end of the second round, and Cotto was closing in for the kill. Well, that was the finish to the round, right followed by left Richie, and he was in big trouble here. He's already scored oh, good a lot of knockouts good. in his career so far. And referee Frank Santor jumps in and has waved this one off. Moved in here, and then here comes this big left hook. There it is there. It was a right hand to the body, then the left hook to the head that did the damage. Lots of the crowd standing as Cotto continues the vicious assault. Arthur McCanny watching closely. After the knockdown and the ninth, Judah landed two big shots. He doesn't want any more, or so it appears. And especially a lot for Zab because, you know, he, he's never been in these type situations before. This and was a with throwback such fight. Yes, this he was fought a with throwback this. fight. He this was him. like a fight out of the 40s or the 50s in Madison yes. Square Garden. Both guys suffered a lot of pain. Take Cotto's best shot. Cotto staggers when he hits. Right, Cotto. Short left. Hard right. Cotto catching Torres on the end of a punch again, and down goes Ricardo Torres. Watch the left hook to the body that finishes this up. Right hand. One more time to the chest with that left hook. Appreciative. Of the high entertainment. Merga attacks. Ooh. Big left hook. And he's holding his hand there. I'm not sure what he hit his hand. I didn't on. see it land. I mean, that was just a devastating left hook. That is a game person. And remember, he was down in the 12th round against Shane Mosley. Almost a replay of that. They're all standing here at the MGM Grand. And this is what we wanted to see from Cotto. Oh, he's hurt again off a jail. And now he just stands there, and that's it. He says, that's it. And Robert Byrne has stopped it. He throws that left hook. Really using the ring muscle. There it is. Down goes Gio. Just sensational. Low to the body like he's doing right now. And came back up to the head with a deep left hook. Good body shot. Referee's watching intently, and now Gio tries to fight his way out of it and goes down for a second time. And for the second year in a row, Daniel Gio tells a New York referee he's had enough. The right hand and comes following up with the left hook right on the button. If he hits anybody with a hook that clean, they're bound to go down. And that's a devastating thing to see in any good or great world champion. A tremendous fourth round knockout performance. Cotto's left hook to the body there. 
Cotto oh. comes back with the left hook to the body and cracks it. Make him pull his hand up for a left hook, but instead of left hook, the left comes to the body, which has been Cotto's signature punch from his early days, and you knew if he ever landed it clean, that was going to be lights out. And if you saw Bernard hit Hopkins, hit Oscar De La Hoya there, if you saw Arturo Gatti hit Leonard Doreen there, there are any number of other examples, Roy Jones against Reggie Johnson.